everyone and welcome back to Forget About It. My name is Jamelia. And my name is Naima. And today we're going to be talking about climate change. Oh no. <laughs> so essentially last week, I think it was last week, mm -hmm. there was a global protest that happened with scientists, like it was mainly scientists led. Um, and I think it happened in over 25 countries. But in LA specifically, multiple scientists were being arrested by the LAPD just for like protesting. And I think eventually like it stopped being like a peaceful protest. Mm -hmm. But um, the reason why they were protesting was because of the IPCC, which is like an intergovernmental panel on climate change. And basically the report was saying that um, rapid and deep cuts to greenhouse gas emissions are necessary by 2025, yeah. which is in like three years to avoid catastrophic climate events, or effects, sorry. But like, that's already happening. Like there's already like crazy effects of climate change, which is insane. Do you think we're gonna reach our target by 2025? No. <laughs> okay, no. No, I don't. Yeah, Literally, 2022 is already almost mm -hmm. over. Like it's June in like two months. Two months, yeah. Yeah, and the, one of the scientists, I forget his name, you remember his name? No. But he was like crying. He was saying a message and he was crying and basically just saying that um, we're leading towards a catastrophe and just so many other things, but he was on the verge of tears. And it was just really scary because scientists themselves were mm -hmm. saying that. And as a scientist. Yeah, and as a scientist, really he's crazy. literally, like, he's up there. Mm -hmm. um, but he was just saying he's like, worried for his children, he's worried for the future. Um, it was just really scary. And I remember there was this thing that was supposed to happen, it was like this experiment that was supposed to be led by Harvard students where they would release like a whole bunch of dust into the air so that the sun could become dimmer because yeah. the sun was like like its brightness was so hot so it would have to like they would release so much dust so they would dim the sun oh i remember learning something about like the sunlight and and its effects in yeah. Vietnam. So you know those feedback loops? Yeah. So whatever yeah. it like shines on like the glaciers, mm -hmm. it emits something that like breaks the ozone layer. So yeah. it's really bad even about that. Yeah. 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 That's pretty crazy. So things in the glaciers when mm -hmm. they're not it's like yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to dim the sun, but it's like the fact that you have to go to such me like measures, mm -hmm. like can you imagine living in a world where the sun is just dim? It's like winter time. So it's maybe like year on seasonal depression. It's like people would be depressed. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's really scary. But what do you think, like how, what do you think of your future? Honestly, I think as we get older, like things are going to get worse. Mm -hmm. um, the government and people are going to keep pushing for us to like go to greener things. But I don't think it will happen because we're so dependent on gasoline. Like for example, yeah. cars, most people, they drive gasoline cars. Yeah. And they would definitely, like, if they had the choice, they would switch over to electric because mm -hmm. if you look at it, gas prices are high. Yeah. But the thing with electric cars is that most people can't afford to buy them, mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard. Yeah, to that's what's, that's what's mm -hmm. the, the worst part is that being sustainable and like going green or whatever is really expensive. Yeah. But then it's like the people who are able to afford it don't. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Okay, it's Easter, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you follow, you follow Kylie. Kylie Jenner, no, not anymore. I, I don't follow any of them. I follow Kylie because one thing about Kylie, she does something, she's gonna eat, but she doesn't. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, she and her daughter too. Her daughter too. Mm -hmm. So they have like this huge Easter party, like they have any function, like they go all out. Yeah. Which is like really nice to like look at, but you just think about how wasteful it is. Mm -hmm. Like she bought all of her like, nieces and nephews bicycles, but I'm pretty sure they all have bicycles, and like just like the amount of like plastic and like yeah. just so like it's just all these disposable things, right? But she's literally a billionaire. Mm -hmm. She could afford to have a more sustainable Easter party. But the thing is that they do this for like all of their events. Easter, mm -hmm. Christmas, Valentine's Day, their birthdays. It's crazy. And even if you think about like, you know how they always have like these balloon things? Yeah. Yeah, they use a lot of balloons. So yeah. just imagine like how much that's kind Like the Astro World, like, like little, yeah. Oh, wow. The story is crazy. Mm -hmm. We can cut this part out. We can cut this part out. What else are you going to talk about? Um, what else was I going to say? Like little things that we can change in our life yeah. just to like help out the environment. Yeah. So if there's one thing that you can do for the environment moving on, and considering that Earth Day is coming up. On Friday. Yes. So if there's one thing that you can do to like help the environment yeah. yourself, what would you do? Okay. There's actually a couple things that I've already done. Mm -hmm. So this is like a joke on the internet, but like, 
straws, like straw pieces, mm -hmm. plastic straws. Like, I have a metal straw. I actually love it. I actually use it that, as well as the thing. But the thing about metal straws is that if I'm going like to import or something and I'm gonna get like an ice cap that needs a straw, I'm not gonna like, cause it's like an impulsive thing mm -hmm. for me to get an ice cap. So I'm not gonna <laughs> bring my metal straw with me everywhere, even though that's what I should do. So that maybe that's something I could do. I can start taking yeah. my metal straw with me places. Um, I know like some people have actually started to um, use like reusable menstrual products, mm -hmm. like into diva cups, yeah. and like there's also like reusable pads and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How, like, what else? What do you think? Um, the other thing that I can really think of is just water bottles. Like, oh, yeah. We use a lot of plastic um, mm -hmm. water bottles, myself. Yeah. And I think we could just switch that around by just bringing reusable water bottles with us. Yeah, because, that's true. as you know, like, there's those fountains mm -hmm. that you can go and like fill up your yeah. bottle, and the water is as good yeah. or even better, may I say, than the ones that you can get in the bottle. So, I think that's a small step that we can take. There's something else. There's also, like, lint rollers. There's, there's reusable lint rollers. Lint rollers, oh, where it's like you don't have to like rip off the the stick, mm -hmm. the sticker thing, um, and it's like a gel that it's and you just roll it and then just wash it off. So That's I think I'm gonna invest in one of those because then it's just you just have I one. Really? Use lint rollers. really? No. no, lint rollers are <laughs> the best invention ever. Mm. What else? Oh my god! Okay. Reusable. Oh, yeah. reusable mask. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, I have a disposable mask right now. Mm -hmm. There's just something about things that I really like. But you're right, mm -hmm. reusable masks. Cause can you like think about it? Masks, like the amount of disposable masks mm -hmm. that people have been using, like millions, no, not many, billions yeah. of people have been using. That's right. Really, yeah, that's a good one. I don't know, yeah, you were mentioning about like the mask being better. I think for different, like when you're playing sports, like reusable masks, they are so much more better for breathing. Yeah? Like I tried to play in like cloth masks and it did not work. Oh, the disposable mask. Mm -hmm. oh. Like these ones work yeah. way better. I think it's because they're thinner. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it's kind of but on that note, mm -hmm. Earth Day is coming up. There's so many things that we can still do on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but keep being sustainable and stay green. Yes. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell notification. And don't forget to check us out on all our social medias. And if you want to see more, check our website.